being in New York, this is one of the biggest party towns. Did your life outside of the garden affect your ever affect your play on the court? No, I probably I probably could have played twenty something years had I, had I not went out, but it never affected me on the court. I was uh I was I was a different breed, you know. I knew what I was there for and I went and gave my hundred percent effort every time I stepped on the floor. So no, I, I didn't allow it to, you know, affect my play on the court. But you know, we had fun. Okay. New York is a fun city. How did you prepare yourself for life after basketball? First I went through my little years of my retirement and um you know, enjoying, you know, not having to get up and, and you know, practice and this and that. And everybody asked me, did you miss it? I said, man, I played 15 years. I uh, played every summer. So in, 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 in basketball years, I probably played about 20-something years anyway because um, I didn't work out with trainers or whatever. I played ball all summer. But um, as you, you know, as you retired and the income stopped coming in, you started thinking of different things to do. And uh, two years ago, I, start, I got into the life insurance business and uh, actually the insurance business itself. We, you know, we cover all facets of insurance. So you, you always got to do something after basketball because even if you're financially stable, it's just too much time on your hands just to be sitting around. So you find something you like and you, you take advantage of it. Was it hard for you to walk away from the game? No. Nah, uh, you know, in the beginning of my career, I played for teams and coaches, you know, that that was all about winning. They was gonna do whatever it took to win. It was no hidden agendas, no, no menial stuff getting in the way. And then, you know, down the stretch, I was on a team where, you know, other stuff was happening. And so by the time I, I was done, I was done.